hey guys hope you're well welcome back to another youtube video hope you're liking the videos the content you're pushing out we are trying to be consistent every tuesday thursday and sunday and in today's video i'm going to talk about plus size ladies plus size body shapes i think we all need to embrace our bodies the bodies we are in the bodies god has given us we are living in and just be confident in what we have you know i always hear women saying you know i'll wear this i'll buy this when i lose weight it's not something that i haven't done before uh you guys have seen my pictures when i was big and 96 kilos and even then i had this one motto that i dress for the body I have at the moment. You know, I won't wait to lose weight for me to wear jeans. I won't wait to lose weight for me to wear color, to wear pattern. So the point is to understand your body shape, understand your curves, understand your strengths and your flaws, and just know how to dress it up. Definitely it involves a lot of research, a lot of trial and error but at the end of the day you can't give up on yourself you can't give up on your body you cannot live in baggy clothes just to hide your body so don't get tired with trying don't get tired with trying different cuts pattern colors eventually you'll be able to find what works for you stick to it and also be more comfortable and even now be able to experiment with texture colors patterns and trends even i don't believe that trends is just for uh, size 8 size 10 or smaller body people i feel like even plus size ladies more caviar ladies can wear trends so we all know the different body shapes i'm sure all of us are aware we have a lot of information on the internet so we have let's say a pear an hourglass an apple so we can have a plus size of each of these shapes yeah so today i'm going to talk about the do's and don'ts for plus size ladies the caviar ladies the more bigger framed ladies i'm not going to tell you how to look thinner or how to make you dress into clothes that make you smaller than you are i'm just going to talk about how to dress your particular caviar body shape what to do and what not to do again i always say to each their own these are just ideas example uh, seeing what worked for me then and what works for other plus size ladies you do not have to follow this there are no it's not a must it's not written on stone so don't feel like i am putting you in a box these are just ideas if you want to be able to to dress better to be comfortable in your caviar body point number one for someone whose plus size is more curvy is define your waist what i mean by your waist i'm not talking about here down here i'm talking about the smallest part of your body which is usually just a few inches after your bust define your waist when you define your waist then you're able to give that illusion of an hourglass you're able to create length so define your waist for someone who's plus size with caviar avoid very thick belts avoid belts that also have a lot of bulk but you can do medium to small size belts there you're able to show that small waist in contrast to your hips in contrast to your bum and it creates the illusion of an hourglass if you're a shorter plus size it also creates the illusion of length and proportion number two is undergarments undergarments meaning your bra your underwear your body shapers your foundation undergarments are very key to small size especially to plus size caviar ladies because without a foundation then your clothes will not look seamless your silhouette will not look flowy and you will have bumps we could see the cellulite the muffy tops the love handles invest in good undergarments undergarments are not cheap it takes a while before you find what works for you and when, what i mean by good undergarments is not something that is just tight and crushing you it has to be comfortable breathable it needs to be able to show your shape without constricting it for example there are shape here that will hide your waist and will make your thighs look firm but will make your bum look flat so the key is good undergarment something that will accentuate your good parts for example if you're someone who has thicker thighs and you're more conscious about it you could wear the the shorts that come up to under your bust it's what i have in right now something that is going to still make you feel firm in your thigh area but still show your butt so good undergarments shapewear bra underwear i see nowadays people are using compression garments compression garments are garments that you use for example when you have surgery so that your blood can flow well to avoid clothes or people who have elephantiasis or who swell there's good compression garments you can also experiment and research on that compression garments are also a thing people are, are wearing instead of shapewear because shapewear can be constricted can be comfortable you're sitting the whole day and you don't even have room to move and you feel 
constricted and the thing is also if you have bigger thighs and you're sweating and it's tight you feel uncomfortable so undergarment that is of good quality comfortable breathable and just gives you that silhouette that doesn't show cellulite bumps love handles all those things we don't want to be shown or to be seen sorry all those things we want to be seen number three is find the correct fit in whatever you're wearing Please guys, do not go a size bigger because you want to hide your body, do not go a size smaller. At the end of the day, you'll be uncomfortable. If you're a size bigger, you look more bigger than you are. If you're a size smaller, it's tight and you look like you're struggling. So find the perfect size. At the end of the day, I always tell people that no one is going to come and tell you, can I please see your tag? What size are you? At the end of the day, as long as you look good, no one really cares on wants to know what size you are. You know, as long as you look good. So find the size that fits you. If you're a 14, be true to your size, be a 14. Okay, so wear what is true to your size. Another fourth point is understand your flaws, understand your strengths. What parts of your body do you want to show? For example, if you're more caviar and you want to accentuate your bust and you feel like you have a nice bust, wear clothes that have a v-neck, so then the eyes are drawn to that and then below wear clothes that are flowy so understand what you want to show off for example if someone who has a tiny waist and a voluptuous bum if that's what you want to show up then show that off and cover your flow area if you have thick thighs if you have thighs that are more bulkier if you have legs that are more bulkier find ways to hide that and ways to hide that could be wearing darker clothes below and on top you can play around with colors so understand what are your good parts and what are parts you don't want to show and then dress appropriately For any lady who's caviar, who's more on the plus size, heels are your best friend. When I mean heels, I'm not saying you struggle with the pointed, thin heels that you can't balance. Heels help elongate you, help you look leaner, help you look smaller. Even for me, my, bo my body shape, I normally wear heels to give me that illusion. And when I mean heels, wear heels that are pointed, that are sharp at the front. Do not wear heels that are rounded, especially for very short caviar ladies, because then you just look sloppy your dimensions look funny you look like you start from here and end here so try to avoid round pointed shoes and if you can do heels do heels but ensure they're comfortable and you can walk in them and they're good quality and they can carry your weight do not wear heels that you're struggling because then again anything that you do not feel comfortable then again you won't feel confident and you'll feel conscious and aware about yourself The next point is ensure that all your clothes are made of good fabric. Good fabric for plus size caviar ladies is fabric that stretches, fabric that is structured, fabrics that are thick, fabrics that will not show all your bumps, all your cellulite, all your flaws. Ensure that your fabric is of good quality. Avoid thin fabrics because then again you'll have a very difficult time creating that illusion, that silhouette. So wear fabric that is of good quality, it is thick, it is structured, it can stretch, it is breathable, it's comfortable and that's why I'm talking about researching and experimenting until you find that fabric that works for you. For example, I find fabric like the knit fabric, the sweater fabric, if it's very light it shows your bump. For example, anything that is silky, is satin, I've just remembered, you know those satin dresses, the satin dresses and skirt, the slip satin dresses, slip satin skirts, they are not forgiving. So they will show every bump, every flow. So ensure that you have, your clothes are made of good fabric that are forgiving and comfortable and can bring out that silhouette that is flowy and you look structured and well put together. When it comes to denim, ensure it is high rise, not low rise, not mid rise because of your love handles and muffin. Look for high waist denim that stretches. Wearing denim for plus size ladies that do not stretch is a lot of work. So ensure that your jeans, your denim is high waist. I would recommend a dark color denim like navy blue, dark navy blue jeans, black jeans. But then again, if you still want to do color jeans, it's up to you. Just ensure that it's one solid color. You don't have two toned color like a light blue and a dark blue combined because then again my eyes will be drawn to just your thighs and most caviar ladies tend to have thick thighs so high waist denim that stretches is key for any plus size caviar lady 
another point is follow bloggers follow celebrities follow people on instagram and social media who are caviar who are plus size see what they are wearing because at the end of the day they encourage you to try things you might look at something and think oh i wouldn't look nice in it but if you see that plus size caviar fashion blogger wearing it you might be like oh let me give it a try and then you try it and you're like oh it looks nice on me so follow bloggers people who you know are caviar and who look great for inspiration so that you get to tell different things and you never know it just might look good on you another point is as much as you're plus size it doesn't mean that you do not have a personal style please ensure that you understand your personal style you could be sorry you could be plus size and you are you like bohemian chic style, you are elegant or sophisticated, have a Pinterest board, save pictures so that you get to understand your style. It's easier to find out your style like that or in that way, then you'll be able to know which stores to go and buy your items, which stores have good sizing in terms of plus size. So shopping does not become a frustrating affair for you. You're not going from one shop to another and you realize, oh, 12, size 12 is their max, size 16 is their max. So once you find your personal style, you'll be able to find also the stores that stock that style and that also uh, have plus size garments and it makes shopping easier for you, enjoyable, easier for you to experiment, easier for you to enjoy the process of dressing and finding your own personal style. Another point is for any plus size or caviar lady, do not shy away from color vibrant colors, yellow, red. I usually find it very, very elegant and sophisticated when I see a plus size lady with like maybe a solid yellow pencil dress, a red, so a red solid dress, a red solid skirt. So experiment with color, also prints. You could start with small prints, you could start with prints below and a solid color on top. It doesn't mean that prints and color are only left for small sized ladies. Experiment, try. You won't know unless you try. Plus sized ladies can also pull color very well, can pull patterns, especially patterns. For example, if you wear patterns on the top, my eyes are drawn to your top and maybe your bust is your best area so you know it creates that illusion and distraction. So don't be afraid to try color, to try pattern. You could try slowly try maybe with maybe a colored top you know then maybe colored skirt the next time maybe you could wear colored dress head to toe a pop of color same thing as pattern try slowly and then you get the confidence and you'll be able to wear color and pattern and you'll be able to also know which colors work with my skin tone which patterns work with me in terms of big small or medium so experiment and don't fear another point that's very important find a tailor Sometimes, mostly especially for caviar plus size ladies who have a small waist and a more caviar back or behind or bum, for lack of a better word, you'll find that some clothes don't fit you well off the rack. For example, you could find below you are, a, because of your bum and your hips, you are maybe an 18, but then you have a small waist. So you will buy a size 18 pants because then they will fit you very well on the bum, on the thighs, on the hips, but then you'll have to adjust your waist because your waist is smaller than your lower body. So find a good tailor who understands your measurement, understands your personal style, so that you're able to adjust clothes. Just don't give up and just wear frumpy things, you know. Find a good tailor who understands your body shape and invest in a tailor who also understands your personal style. Another point is plus size ladies can wear anything. I said this in the beginning, don't be afraid to try jumpsuits, don't be afraid to try mini skirts, don't be afraid to try shorts. Trends are also for you, so experiment. In this video you'll see my plus size model has jumpsuits of different colors, different prints, stripes, flower pattern. It's just finding that jumpsuit that works for you. Keep looking, keep experimenting and keep trying. There is nothing that is meant just for small bodied people and caviar ladies cannot wear. So don't shy away from trying different types of garments and different types of clothes. Another tip is 
try out the monochromatic look especially for someone who's caviar below where for example a black top black pants and then you can play around with your shoes you can play around with your bag the monochromatic look always makes whatever body shape look longer look leaner look well put together and look sophisticated so try the monochromatic look and see how it goes that reminds me for any pluses lady caviar lady outside there when it comes to this trip try them on basic items or a capsule wardrobe try try starting with a black a white tee dark blue denim jeans a black jacket start on the basics and then you'll build up as you go along as you gain confidence as you become more comfortable experimenting so if you're clueless and you don't know where to start and you're a plus size lady and you want to start the journey of finding your personal style looking good embracing your curve dressing your body shape start with the basics basics are as i usually say white to you white colored shirt black pants dark blue denim, black heels, black jacket, a red jacket. So start with the basics and then you build up as you gain confidence. The last point is always find balance in your outfit. What I mean by that is if I'm going to wear a stretched top, it means below I can wear something loose fit. But don't struggle with wearing a structured top, a structured pant, because again, your muffin, muffin top will show love handle, cellulite. If you're going to wear a, a baggy top, for example, then wear a pencil jeans, you know, something that is structured below. Do not wear baggy and baggy, tight on the top and tight below. So find that structure and create that balance when you're wearing your clothes and lastly we all know ladies be confident in whatever you're wearing confidence is a key if i have the right clothes i'm dressing my body shape if i have the right color that matches my skin tone if i'm wearing the right pattern if um i have the right hair still the right shoes and i don't have confidence then it will not come out so ladies caviar lady outside outside there watching this video plus size ladies embrace your bodies there's a place for all of us in this world be confident in what you're wearing on the body you are in today treat it well and you are not all meant to be the same size so ladies confidence is key i hope you've enjoyed this video let me know for any plus size caviar lady outside there if there are points i've missed i also learned from you guys feel free to send pictures with your looks with the pointers i've spoken about on the video correct me you know i can also learn from you and as usual guys please click click the subscribe button like follow and share and until next time guys bye bye